the, uh, the, the central bank, the ECB, is really about, uh, is about price stability, is about uh, financial stability. We know the, you know, the, the, the mantra, we know the, the mandate. And there's a disconnect between that and what younger people care about, which is uh, inequality and climate change, probably the two most important things they would mention, which is obviously not in the mandate of a central bank. Uh, and uh, at the same time, you know, if you want to, to counter populist trends, uh, you have also to, to care about what society uh, is interested in. And uh, central bankers, including the ECB, uh, have been active saying that there are ways in which you know, they, can, they can take those issues on board. Especially you know, inequality, there is not much it can, it can do, but, but climate change. And I think it has been done mostly through saying that there are financial stability ways to addressing uh, climate change and to warning the private sector about the consequences of uh, underestimating the, the risk of uh, stranded assets and what it implies for, for financial stability. I don't think it's really uh, sufficient at, uh, in terms of uh, the way we, we should be dealing with, with climate change. Is it consistent to tell the private sector, you shouldn't invest in such an such asset because it involves a risk uh, that uh, uh, these assets being stranded because of uh, climate change policy, and at the same time saying that in the monetary policy uh, operation, the asset purchase of the ECB, you're perfectly neutral, and you don't uh, distinguish between these types of assets. I mean, we, we're benefiting from extremely low interest rate, uh, and we, we're benefiting from a windfall that comes from this uh, uh, lower, much lower uh, interest rate on public debt than anticipated even, even two years ago. We don't have any discussion in Europe on what it implies and how to use uh, this one fold gain. And if, is there, uh, is, does it make sense actually to use the uh, large fiscal space and to use uh, the, the windfall gain coming from the, the drop in the interest rate burden in, in public expenditure uh, to invest uh, in accelerating the transition to a low carbon economy. Uh, that's not a something that's part of the discussion, and that's very strange, uh, I think. Uh, so, so that's uh, a, a discussion on which it would be important, I think, to have the view of the ECB. Now, actually, it's, you know, it's part of the program of the, um, the, the, the party of President Macron that uh, climate change should be part of the mandate of every European institution, including the ECB explicitly. We don't know what it means, but it may mean that you know, there will be some sort of suggestion that the ECB should, should do that. So I think this needs a response on the part of central bankers. What do they consider is, uh, can be part of, the, of their mandate? and what do they consider cannot be part of their mandate.